everyone, welcome to the vlog. I'm in the podcast room, we're about to record the podcast. We usually do that over the weekend. I was trying to put Flynn to sleep and he would not go to sleep, so dad had to come take over and you know when dad takes over, it's business time. Hopefully he's having more success than I had. Flynn likes to cuddle to sleep and I love that about him. I will take all the cuddles I can get until my kids are done cuddling. He likes to cuddle, but since I'm so big and pregnant, he can't like lay on me to cuddle like how he used to. So we kind of have to like, you know, sp like spoon him a little bit or like rub his back or whatever. And he falls asleep best though when he's like really snuggled in. <sighs> can't snuggle me anymore. And so with Eric, he tends to go to sleep faster because he can just cuddle up on his chest. Which by the way, that was like one of the first things I did after I gave birth to Flynn. I came home from the hospital and I laid down on Eric and cuddled him like on top of him and I cried. <laughs> Cause I was like, I haven't been able to do this in so long. And it just felt so good to be able to like have close human contact with him. I feel like I'm gonna feel the same way after I have the twins if Flynn can like lay on me if he's still cuddling at that point I will sob because <laughs> I miss it so much it is Sunday right now you're seeing this Monday if you watch the day we upload it so this weekend what we did I didn't film any of the weekend but Friday I went to my brother and sister-in-law's house and just kind of hung out with them all afternoon with Corey because Eric he had a shoot that he had to do here at the house I just wanted to make sure we were all out of his hair so we had a nice quiet house and so that's what we did and we had so much fun it was so nice to see them and then yesterday I just wasn't feeling good because I'm super prego. There was nothing really to film except we did go to a pet store and to a Halloween store because we don't know what we want to be for Halloween. So we were hoping to get ideas. And the pet store, Flynn, I wish I had filmed it because I just want to remember it forever, but I didn't. He was going absolutely bananas. Like he was so excited. Every animal, he was like, ah, a turtle. Oh my gosh. Can you believe it? I can't believe it. Look at that turtle. A fish. Look at all these kinds of fish. There's so many fish. And everyone in the store was like, oh my God, he's so cute. He's so excited. It was so funny. But Flynn wanted to go to the pet store because he really, really, really wants a guinea pig. Not just any guinea pig. Flynn wants a green, <laughs> big guinea pig. And this came out of nowhere. Eric and I were just hanging out with him yesterday. And he's like, I want to go to a store and buy a green guinea pig. And we were like, okay. And Eric's like, I'll tell you what, Flynn, if you can find a green guinea pig, we'll buy it. Because obviously we're not going to buy a guinea pig. We don't have the energy for a new pet right now. So it's not going to happen. Um, so Flynn was like, really? And I was like, they're really hard to find. But if you ever find a green guinea pig, we'll get you a green guinea pig. I said, what's the green guinea pig's name? He said, Jelly. Like it was like obvious that this green guinea pig's name was Jelly. And he said he had a friend, a best friend named John. And it was John and Jelly the guinea pigs. So we went to the store and I was nervous he was going to see guinea pigs and just be like, I want one. But we saw the guinea pigs and they weren't green. So he was like, nah, didn't care. Was not interested. <laughs> they were not green. But that was really cute. And then we went to a Halloween store and that did not go well. We were there for 0.2 seconds because Halloween stores, of course, have like scary things things in them. You know, we walked in and we we're like, oh, isn't this a silly store? Like we weren't acting scared. We didn't tell him it was scary. We didn't want to instill fear in him. We were just like, oh, isn't this a fun, silly store? And he was like kind of skeptical. But then there was like robot animatronic thing that was a spider and it like jumps at you when you walk past it. <laughs> And Flynn walked past it and I jumped at him and he was like, that scared me. And he didn't cry or anything. He just was like very factual about it. He's like, that scared me. And so um, we left. Now he says he never wants to go to a Halloween store again because the spider was too scary. And he loves spiders and he loves bugs. So that made me sad. But anyway, that was the weekend and now it's today. And we're doing the podcast and I don't really have any other plans. So we'll see what happens. But I'm super pregnant. So this might be the vlog, just me sitting here talking to you about the day. <laughs> we'll see. All right. Talk to you guys later. Hi, everyone. We did the podcast. And then it felt like garbage. Like weird. Could you understand that? Sometimes I talk when I yawn and people go like, what did you say? And I'm like, how did you not hear that? But it's because I literally sound like... <laughs> anyway, <laughs> I finished the podcast and felt horrendous when we were done. I had to lay down. I couldn't move. And like felt out of breath and just horrible. And so I fell asleep for a minute. And then I was going to hang out with Joey tonight. I really still want to. I'm hoping I'll feel better, but I don't know if it's going to happen. But I just voice memoed him like a little voice memo to let him know what was going on. And I was like talking to him and then I listened to it back. And I literally sound like I ran a marathon, a 10 mile marathon, like with how hard I'm panting. 
<laughs> sounds, I literally said on this voicemail, say, hi, so here's the deal. Um, I kinda, I'm not feeling good. <laughs> I sound crazy. So then I just sent him another one being like, oh my God, I'm sorry, it sounds so ridiculous. So that was embarrassing. But anyway, now I'm hoping I'll feel better soon. Eric went to the grocery store to get me some food. I think I've just, I feel like I've said this a million times, but like, I feel like I've officially hit that point of like, my body just wants to lay down and doesn't want to do anything anymore until the babies come. So I am officially like a bed ridden misery stew. I feel major like mom guilt and human guilt about it. Like I want to work and I want to play with Flynn and I, I just like literally cannot get up. Anyone else pregnant dealing with that? <laughs> so I don't feel alone and lame because it's the worst. I just literally feel like I can't do anything. And it's a feeling I can't explain and I've only ever felt this way when I've been pregnant. Eric was like, what do you feel nauseous? I'm like, yeah. And he's like, what else do you feel? And I was like, I just feel really pregnant. <laughs> he was like, what, what do you feel? Like, what is it? I was like, I feel pregnant. Like, I can't explain it. Like, everything hurts. Everything aches. I'm so tired. My body feels like it should be in a coma. Like, I should just, like, <sighs> I can't explain it. I've only ever felt this way when I've been pregnant. Do you know what I'm talking about? Anybody? Pregnant people out there? Do you know what I'm talking about? This feeling where you can't do anything. It's horrible. I'm only 28 weeks. Oh my god. I have so many more weeks to go. Okay. I'm gonna rest more. Goodbye. I'm leaving my dark cave because I heard someone's here. Is anybody here? <coughs> Hello? Anybody here? Yes. I <laughs> don't know what you just <laughs> Oh my goodness. What kind of cookie is that? What the heck is that? Um, it's a key cat. Look at the key cat. Look what Eric made me. My hero. Salmon, avocado, and vegetables. No carbs. <laughs> what's next? Let's see what's next. Hold on. It's a... Bloodhoder! <laughs> wow! Wow! Claws? <gasps> what's next? What? Is it... What is it? What is it? Uh, bulldozer with tracks? It's a scooper? Kind of, it's kind of a scooper. What's next? <gasps> a forklift! Wow! <laughs> What? What's that? What? Bottle day. Yeah. What? What? Another one? What? Can you believe it? A dump truck. A grater. A grater. It's next. And a barrel excavator. Excavator. Another excavator. What? Two excavators. What? Another excavator? What? Three excavators? The heck? Look! It is down! Oh, I thought. Is, is JoJo here? I am a JoJo. You're gonna be JoJo? What? Hi, JoJo! Hi. What? <laughs> Do you still want a guinea pig? Mm hmm. What color? Green. <laughs> Green. And what's your guinea pig's name? Jelly. Jelly. And John. Jelly and John? Yeah. Okay. Are they friends? They are friends. Where do they live? They live at the house. Our house? Yeah, at our house. Yeah. Oh. They live here? Look. Yeah. Oh, what? Look at the Wait, people. Where, where do they live, Lynn? I have never yeah, seen them. What room? What room do they live in? They live in our room. In this room? Yeah. Where? We live right there and sleep right there. They live and sleep right there? Yeah. By, by the there. diapers? Uh uh. Oh. Right here. oh, under there? Right here, right here. That's where Jelly and John live? Yeah. Do you see them right now? Mm -hmm. Are they there right now? They have to crawl here. They have to crawl here? Yeah, they have to walk here. Oh, from where? Too many questions? Yeah, too many questions. Hi, Daddy Jojo. Uh, hi, hi, Flynn. It's me, Daddy Jojo. Hi. Do you want to do a Jojo dance with me? Yeah, I'm oh. scooping some dirt. You're scooping some dirt? Yeah. That's cool. My my bucket too. Where are you putting your dirt? I'm putting it right over here. Mm -hmm. See my scooper? Yeah, that's a cool scooper. I'm digging a big hole. Why are you digging a hole? I'm building a castle for you. You're building a, a Jojo castle? Yeah, I have a lot of seats. You can drive, that I can turn, they can crash. What? 
Yeah, I'm building a castle. Oh, you're building a castle that has lots of seats that I can drive yeah. and that also I will crash? Yeah. What? Yeah. What's my name? Jojo. Hi guys, we're back with my tortilla. I took a shower, Eric cut my hair. I did not film any of that. I feel like Gabash. this diet of just food that doesn't taste good leaves me very hungry all the time. I have not gone like hardcore every meal. I'm only eating healthy, healthy, healthy foods. Like I tend to give myself like a cheat a day just for now. Pretty soon I'm gonna have to go full force. But guys, like it's not fun to eat food that just tastes taste bad all day long. I guess I'm a picky eater and I never knew I was a picky eater. I never thought I was a picky eater because I kind of eat anything and everything and I like crave anything and everything. But to eat food that I'm not craving, that is like not good. I'm so sick of string cheese. I'm so sick of turkey meat. I'm so sick of chicken. I am so sick of salmon. It's like all I'm allowed to eat basically is protein and nasty carbs, like not yummy carbs, like fiber, wheat, dry, crumbly carbs. So I'm just kind of hungry all the freaking time. That kind of makes me grumpy. But what I wanted to say was I'm about to shock all of you. I'm about to piss off a lot of people. I'm about to upset a lot of people. We all know I don't like movies. This is no surprise. I'm not a big movie lady. I like some movies, but like it takes a lot for me to really like a movie. And it's because it's hard for me to sit through them. I'm not really interested in like fictional movies. Like I like documentaries. I like true stories. If it didn't actually happen, I'm kind of like, I don't want to watch that. It's a waste of my time. <laughs> I don't know why. That's so stupid and lame. But uh, here's this big controversial topic I'm about to talk about, guys. There are a few movies out there that like literally everyone loves that I really don't like. And tonight, Eric put one on. And I've never liked this movie, but I have not seen it in a very long time. Eric put it on. And I go, oh, I hate this movie. And he's like, I haven't watched it in so long. We're going to watch it. I was like, please don't make me watch this movie. And he's like, no, we're going to watch it. We start watching the movie. And I hate it more now than I did before. <laughs> I couldn't get through. I was like, I can't sit through this. This is horrible. I think the Titanic is a horrible movie and I'm sorry. I know this is gonna make so many people so mad at me because everyone loves the Titanic. I know I'm wrong and I know everyone is gonna come for me and say I am an idiot and that it's such a brilliant movie, but it's not good in my opinion. I've seen a lot of documentaries on the Titanic and I love those. I watch every second. I like, I'm just so completely engulfed in the history of it and like the story of it and hearing people's, their ancestors who were there and hearing their stories. Like I love that. But that movie is not good. I just don't like the story and I don't, <laughs> I just think there are so many holes in the story and in the plot and obviously this it, that movie was from very long ago so like there's a lot of like CGI moments that don't look very good but you can't really fault them for that. I just don't like that movie. There's nothing about it I like. I don't think it's a romantic love story. I think there's infidelity and she could have made room for him on that freaking piece of wood at the end and she didn't. I just th I just didn't like it. I don't like it. I'm sorry and I know everyone's gonna hate me for that but I don't like that movie. The other one that pisses people off a lot. I I hate, I really passionately dislike The Notebook. I think it's horrible. <laughs> Everyone hates me for this because everyone loves that freaking movie and I think it's not good because first of all that is an abusive relationship They are just screaming at each other. That is not a healthy relationship. Sure. Maybe they're passionate about each other Whatever, but like fighting all the time like that it is not good not to mention the how they start dating She's on a ferris wheel on a date with another guy and she blows him off and he doesn't respect her decision and her choice to not date him and he climbs up on the ferris wheel and is dangling for like almost gonna die and he's like I'm gonna let go unless you go on a date with me and she's like no what and he's like I'm gonna let go if you don't if you don't go on a date with me and she's like oh my god okay 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 he manipulates her using his own death to force her to go out with him. Like, how can anyone think this is a romantic movie? This is the worst movie ever. I do think the end is romantic, like, and I'm not gonna give it away. Like, I do I do like think like, oh my gosh, it, it's very sad and it's wonderful and like beautiful that their love story lasts forever, like whatever, fine. 
But like, how are we not all noticing that that man fully manipulated her and tricked her essentially into dating him? Like, it's not good. I don't know why I went on that rant, but like, that's just how I feel about it. But there's a lot of movies like that where like everyone like just loves the movie and I'm like, I hated that movie. So anyway, rewatch Titanic tonight. Only like 30 minutes of it because I was like, I can't do this. I don't like it guys. I just don't. I'm sorry. And I know I'm probably gonna lose a lot of subscribers because of these opinions. This week is busy week. I have physical therapy in the morning. I'm seeing the babies again on Tuesday. Also tomorrow, my family's coming over to hang out, which I'm really excited about. Yeah, it's, I'm mostly, I have a lot of doctor's appointments this week. Surprise, surprise. I'm just kind of laying low. The psychic video is coming out this week. I did have a psychic come to my house and and tell me the future of the twins and tell me what she saw with the twins. And so that's coming up this week. Anyway, I'm gonna go to bed. I love you guys. I hope you don't all hate me because of my movie opinions. I know that I'm wrong and I know everyone else loves those movies, but like, oh my God, they make me so mad. Um, okay, I'll talk to you guys tomorrow, bye. You can relax. Colleen and Eric have a podcast. The world is scary and we're locked in our home, but now we have big microphones. So you can relax, that's the name of our podcast.